Hey everybody, it's Under My Cap, and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you how to install Fabric. Now, if you don't know what Fabric is, it is basically a mod loader to allow you to use a whole bunch of Fabric mods. I personally use it in a lot of my videos to use Replay Mod and Sodium to give me better performance in Minecraft. This performance in my other video I've done where I talk about frame rates and how Sodium Fabric won. That will be in the link in the description if you do want to watch that. Now, if you are younger, make sure you have a parent to help you go through this just in case you download the wrong thing, but I'm going to leave the link in the description as well. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to go onto your Google or, you know, Firefox, Chrome, whatever. And you want to simply type in fabric mc.net. Now this is where the fabric website is. So just make sure that that is the one. And before you do anything, instead of clicking the download here button, you want to go up to the top download section. Now I'm going to show you just how to download it for Windows. It should be straightforward for Mac the same, you know, same way. Um, but if you do use a different, you know, specific launcher, you can use these other options. I personally don't use any of these things here. Um, I just use the Minecraft launcher. So, okay, so I'm going to simply hit download for Windows and you'll see it will pop up here. And then what you want to do is you want to double click on this. Now, because I've already installed this, it will pop up with an install window. So I'll just double click and see what it does. Yeah, okay. So basically once you install it, it's already installed on my system. This little tab will pop up and this is where you install your, um, your versions. Obviously, if I want to install Fabric 1.19.3, I'm going to select 1.19.3. You can also select any other version if you want. Um, it only goes down to 1.14. Um, so I'm going to just, you know, select this. Um, and click install or create profile. So I'll click that right now and click yes. So now that we've done this, we'll open up the craft launcher and it should be there, hopefully. Fabric 1.19.3. Now I'm gonna show you another step just because you do need this mod for it to work, um, for most mods to work. As you can see, as you can see here, you will need Fabric API for most mods. So we're going to click on this link, which is on the same website we downloaded Fabric from and it should take us to CurseForge Fabric API. Now I'll leave this link in the description as well just to make sure you're going to the right place. Um, but I'm gonna simply hit download. It'll do its little download page and it'll start downloading here. Now I'm gonna keep this tab over here and I'm also going to close this. Now you wanna locate your Minecraft folder um, and that's as simple as opening up your Minecraft and going into folder. Um, I always have it on my desktop, but you can see you just go in Data roaming on Minecraft, or you can simply type this in, and I recommend typing this in. Also, you need to change your username to whatever username you use on your computer. You type that in, and you should be taken to here. Now, Fabric will be added to your Minecraft, and as well as this mods tab, and we'll simply want to open this and drag your Fabric API mod into here. So that's all you do. Obviously, I have my mods that I use right here. I use Fabric API, Iris shaders, Lithium, you know, all this stuff, which I use a lot. Um, you know, to help make my videos. Now that's about it. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I can't wait to see you in the next video. See ya.